The Mending Wall by Robert Frost. Something there is that doesn't love a wall that sends the frozen ground swell under it and spills the upper boulders in the sun and makes gaps even too compassive rest. The work of hunters is another thing. I have come after them and made repair where they have left not one stone on the stone, but they would have the rabbit out of hiding to please the yelping dogs. The gaps, I mean, no one has seen them made or heard them made, but at spring mending time, we find them there. I let my neighbor know beyond the hill, and on a day we meet to walk the line and set the wall between us once again. We keep the wall between us as we go to each the boulders that have fallen to each, and some are lobes and some so nearly balls. We have to use a spell to make them balance. Stay, stay where you are until our backs are turned. We wear our fingers rough with handling them. Oh, just another kind of outdoor game, one on a side. It comes to me little more. There where it is, we did not need the wall. He is all pine and I am apple orchard. My apple trees will never get across and eat the cones under his pines, I tell him. He only says, good fences make good neighbors. Spring is the mischief in me, and I wonder if I could put a notion in his head. Why do they make good neighbors? Isn't it where there are cows? But here, there are no cows. Before I built a wall, I'd asked to know what I was walling in or walling out, and to whom I was like to give offense. Something there is that doesn't love a wall, that wants it down. I could say elves to him, but it's not elves exactly, and I'd rather he said it for himself. I see him there bringing a stone, grasped firmly by the top in each hand, like an old stone savage armed. He moves in darkness, as it seems to me, not of woods only in the shades of tree. He will not go behind his father's saying, and he likes having thought of it so well he says again, good fences make good neighbors.